Hi, I am Massimiliano Marcon and I'm a senior product manager at MongoDB. In this session, we'll learn about the new MongoDB shell. About a year ago, we released the first beta of MongoSH, the new MongoDB shell. MongoSH is now GA and it replaces the legacy Mongo shell, which is now deprecated. MongoSH provides a modern command line experience for the MongoDB data platform. It has enhanced usability features like intelligent autocomplete, contextual help, and helpful error messages, which is all there to help you be more productive when you use the shell. It is a powerful Node.js based scripting environment. And lastly, it is backwards compatible with the legacy Mongo shell, which means that in all the places where you are using the legacy shell, you can now switch to the new one. In a second, I'm going to give you a quick tour of everything that Mongo SH can do. In Mongo SH, in addition to auto-completing methods and command, we have to complete show and use as well. This way, you type faster and never choose the wrong database again. Output is pretty by default. It is syntax highlighted, so it is easy to distinguish fields, value, data types, and everything is more readable. Let's now create a slightly more complex query. But first, let's create an index that covers the query we are about to write. I never remember the syntax of the create index command. Luckily, Mongo SH helps me here. The contextual help helps me figure out what the command does and even shows me how to use it. We saw a moment ago that output is syntax highlighted. In Mongo SH, input is syntax highlighted as well, so commands and queries are easier to type. Plus, to help you type your queries faster, query expressions are also autocompleted. By default, the shell prompt is topology aware. It tells you what server you're connected to, what cluster, whether there's a primary or not. But I'm a bit of a prompt geek, so I wanted to spend a minute to show you that the MongoDB shell prompt is highly customizable. So you can add all the information you need to see when you work with MongoDB. In this case, my prompt is telling me that with the green cloud, I'm connected to the Atlas cloud. My read preference is secondary preferred. I'm connected to an analytics node, so even uh, Long running queries will not affect the right performance. And I'm using the sample mflix database. So I'm sure that my CRUD operations and my queries and aggregations will run against that database. One of the biggest use cases for the shell is scripting and automation of your MongoDB deployments. The new MongoDB shell is scriptable in the same way that the legacy shell was. Even more, in fact, MongoDB shell is written on top of the Node.js repo. That makes it an extremely powerful scripting environment. You see here, here that I'm running a query, I'm assigning the result to the results variable, and then I'm using console table from Node.js to print the results in a table, which makes them very readable and easy to understand and compare. The entire file system API from Node.js is also available in the shell, which means that I can just write my results as JSON with a simple write file sync. Scripting becomes even more advanced and more fun when you take advantage of all the packages that are published to NPM. Let's switch to the new built-in multi-line editor mode and write a function that fetches data from a REST API and stores it in MongoDB. Here, we're using the node fetch module from NPM. Now, we will execute the function and a bunch of quotes are stored in our collection. Let's try to get a random one with an aggregation. Error. Right, MongoSage tells me my aggregation has an error, which is true, as dollar sample takes an object and not just a number. Let's try again. Cool, that worked. To make it a bit more fun, let's have a little nice cow share its wisdom. Because why not? There you go. As you can see, any module from NPM you can use inside the shell, even the more fun ones. Lastly, I wanted to show you a couple of features that we built to support the new MongoDB 5.0 functionality. To distinguish time series collections from all the other collections in a database, we are now adding labels. So when you do show collections, we can tell you what's a regular collection, what's a view, and what's a time series collection. So everything is easier to find. The other thing that 5.0 added is detailed explanation of validation errors. So you see here that the validation demo collection 
as a validator, which requires name, email, birth date, with a regular expression for email. Now, if we try to insert something that does not match the rules, MongoDB will obviously reject it. In the shell, we make it clear what the error is, so you can find it and fix it. So you see that here, the insertion fails because email, the email field does not match the pattern that was specified in the validator. So let's try again. Now that's inserted correctly. There is one more thing. The new MongoDB shell is designed to be extensible, and we thought we'd make that extensibility extremely convenient. In MongoSage, we added a new experimental feature that we call snippets. Snippets are essentially plugins for the MongoDB shell. They are scripts that can use any NPM package to extend the functionality of the MongoDB shell. Let's look at an example. So here, we're going to search for all the available snippets in our snippets register. So you see that we have a Mongo Compact uh, snippet, uh, Mock Collection 1, Analyze Schema, Spawn MongoD. Then we're going to install a snippet to analyze the schema of a collection. So snippet install, analyze schema. Now the installer is fetching the snippet from the registry. It's installing it and loading it into the shell right away. And now we're going to use that snippet to analyze the schema of a collection. The movies collection, so schema db.movies, and now it's running. It's fetching a number of documents and figuring out what the schema looks like. There you go, it's done. So now we have all the fields and subfields sub of the collection with their type, and it's easy to spot what are the inconsistencies in the different uh, field types. So rating, for example, it's almost always a number, but sometimes it's a string. And similarly, for all the other fields, you can see easily where there are data inconsistencies. So as you've seen, we are currently maintaining a small repository of snippets, but you can actually configure your own to use for yourself or for your team. So as I mentioned earlier, this functionality is experimental, but we are looking forward to your feedback to see how we can make it more useful for all our users and customers. So are you ready to start scripting? install Mongo SH and start using it right away. If you have feedback or new features that you'd like to see in the new MongoDB shell, use our feedback portal or feel free to reach out to me directly on Twitter.